Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Booker Designs. I have one more Sweetest Cherries project to share with you today. Um, if you didn't catch last week's Facebook Friday projects, make sure you um, click the link here, go back to my blog, or um, look back in my YouTube channel. I should have four videos all together. Uh, this is a little treat box that I designed for some little cherry preserves. I love when we go to a restaurant and they give us a little jar of these. I think they're just so fun. Um, I found these on Amazon. I'm sure you can get them other places, um, but I ordered them from Amazon. Okay, so I think the first thing we'll do is make our box. You're going to need a, for the bottom of your box, you're going to need a piece of sweet sorbet cardstock that is five and three fourths by five and a half. It's almost a square, but it's not. On the short side, the five and a half inch side, you're going to score it at one and three fourths and three and three fourths. Now turn it in on the long side, the five and three fourths side, score at two and three and three fourths. Right, for the yeah. lid, you're going to need a piece of thick white that is four by three and three fourths. Now, you're also going to need something I call a shim. It's a stack of post-it notes, about six or seven of them, and we're going to put it right here on the edge. You can only do this when you're scoring the same measurement on all four sides. Um, it's going to create just a tiny bit of difference between the lid and the bottom so that your lid will slide down on your bottom easily. Score it at one inch on all four sides. So rotate it around, scoring it at one inch. Okay, all right. Now take your bone folder. Let's start with the bottom. The bottom's gonna be a little bit different than the top. One side is slightly shorter than the other, which is fine because it's gonna be on the inside of the box. Now on the long side. So this is the long side. We're going to cut the score lines, okay? Right in the middle. Like that. And like that. Very easy. We're we're also not going to cut the sometimes I tell you to cut these at at an angle, but don't do that either. Because this middle one is a little bit shorter, we're gonna hide it on the inside, okay? So now, take your adhesive, whichever adhesive you wanna use, and we're gonna fold these up over the middle like that, and over that middle like that. And then, again here, it's kind of hugging it around like that. All right, so then your little jar of jam fits perfectly in there. So now for the lid, we're going to burnish all these lines. Take your um, scissors and cut the corners off of each, each um, corner. Cut, cut it at an angle, okay? From score line to score line. Now, Take your scissors and on the long side, snip those score lines. Like that. And here I'm gonna use Tombow. And I'm gonna to put Tombow on each of those little corners. Okay, and I have these little clothespins that I like to use. So fold in these two sides and fold the side up and over and take that clothespin and hold it. It will hold that tight. Get it all the way to the edge and press it. This will, this the little clothespins um, provide an extra set of hands so you don't have to stand here and hold it until it's dry. These are just from Walmart, these little clothespins. All right, now I'm gonna let it sit there and dry while we make our tag that's gonna be attached to our box. I did these cherries a little bit different. If you've seen my other videos, I've given you three different ways to make the cherries. This time, instead of stamping them solid in sweet sorbet, I'm gonna actually stamp them first in flirty flamingo. Then I have taken one of our uninked spots and added sweet sorbet to it. And I'm gonna just kind of tap it around. Then I'm gonna 
huff on it and stamp it. And it's gonna give you that kind of, you know, ombre look. It's gonna be a little bit darker here along the bottom. And when you huff on it, I feel like it kind of gives everything a little bit, blends it together a little bit. I'm gonna do one more, because I don't think I added enough to that one. You can also do this with a dauber, an ink dauber. There we go, aren't they cute? Okay, now we'll get our punch and I'm gonna punch them out. Ooh, they're making my mouth water. They look like those cherries you get at the grocery store that aren't red. They're kind of that pinky color. Yum. Now, I'm not gonna stamp the stem. I'm gonna go the easy route and I'm gonna stamp, I'm gonna punch the stem and one leaf each time out of old olive cardstock. All right, so let's get all of our little pieces that we don't need out of here. I'm gonna take the vein stamp, I guess is what you would call it for the leaf, and I'm gonna add some veins in old olive ink, like that. Now I have ahead of time cut out a craft paper circle. It's about two and a half inches, and then the scalloped um, circle that's right above it. I'm gonna stamp the friend at the bottom in memento. All right, and then I'm gonna use my Sweet Sorbet ink pad if I have it. We'll use this one because I don't think I have it. Now, I didn't point this out at the beginning. The word sweet in this stamp set is very large. It's too big for this project. So I wanted to use the word sweet, along with the things that coordinate with it, but it was too big. So I found this tiny little sweet in the cup of tea stamp set, and that's what I'm gonna use to go right above the friend. So it's gonna say sweet friend. All right, now take your dimensionals and let's put our cherries. And we're gonna put one kind of turn to the right and one kind of turn to the left. And we're gonna adhere these stems right here. Now I had to look up on Google where cherry leaves were. I kind of thought they were down at the bottom, but they're actually not. They're towards the top of the stem. So that's where we're gonna put them. Now, for the sake of the video, I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough time for these to dry. Let's use for, just for the sake of the video, let's use some glue dots to put those leaves on. I'm gonna take this one and put it kind of up here like that. And then this one, I'm gonna put kind of coming from the back. So I'll put the glue dot on the front and we'll put it kind of like that. So cute. I love these cherries with craft paper. And I like that combination of Flirty Flamingo and Sweet Sorbet. They are good color buddies. All right, now let's go back to our box and see how our lid is doing. I think we've given it enough time to dry and it should slide on there perfectly. So remember the box is not square. It's a little bit longer on that side. Um, and so, you know, make sure you're not trying to do your lid like that. Okay, now I found this natural ribbon. We have a new ribbon called Natural Finish Ribbon, and I think it's perfect to go with this craft. I'm not gonna tie a bow because I think it would overpower this tiny little box, but I'm just gonna take it up to the top and tie a knot. It's pretty when it frays on the end too. Kind of like that rustic look. And I'm gonna just cut these off at an angle. And I don't have my ribbon scissors. Let's see how we do with our paper snips. These I don't use for ribbon normally, but if I go slowly, there we go. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so now I've got to tie our tag on. I've got some sweet sorbet twine, and I'm just gonna feed that underneath there. Let's cut that off. And then grab a hole punch. I've got a little hole punch and I'm gonna actually punch the hole back here 
in the scallop. So you can't really see it. And we'll feed this through here like that. And hope my stems don't come off because they're not dry yet. And then we'll tie this right here. This would just make a fun little treat at a brunch or, you know, at a breakfast or maybe a shower, a bridal shower. I just think it's so cute. And have a little jar of jam is really fun. All right, that is it. Make sure you hop back to my blog to get the measurements and the full supply list and um, hop back here on YouTube to find the other videos. And if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel, I would be so appreciative. Thank you, everybody. Have fun and let me know if you have any questions. Bye-bye.